How's it going everybody? I am the Texas Man. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And also do me the biggest favor of all, hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on a single video and or live stream coming out in the future here on the Texas Man channel. With that, I'm going to be talking about the new episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7 Episode 8 titled Together Again. And um, so, as always, we're going to talk about positives and negatives, and I'll give you guys my final review score. This is, of course, the final episode that we're getting in this arc where Ahsoka Tano has returned, and we're following her adventures with Trace and her older sister, Rafa, which, I hate to break it to you, is basically the female version of Han Solo. I know I've said this in my past reviews for this arc, but, yeah, just... Rafa is female Han Solo. I, I'm sorry, but can't escape that. Um, so, first of all, I want to say for a fact, this episode strongly focuses on Ahsoka. This episode doesn't waste time with, hey, let's talk about what's happened with Trace and her backstory. This episode has nothing to do with Rafa's backstory, if she even has one. Um... It really doesn't do anything all that big with Pike Syndicate. And it's more about Ahsoka Tano realizing that even though she's not a part of the Jedi Order, she is technically still a Jedi. And, you know, the, the famous saying, with great power comes great responsibility. And so Ahsoka, now that she's finished her adventures with Trace and Rafa, she has to get back on course. She has to get back to her destiny. And that is joining up with Bo-Katan and the rest of the Republic with Anakin, Obi-Wan, and the Clone Army to um, attack Mandalore and for the Siege of Mandalore to happen in order to take down Darth Maul and his um, reign of terror with the other syndicates and crime bosses. So that's what this episode basically was. I feel like it was not only a conclusion to this story arc, but how it's going to lead into episode 9, 10, 11, 12, the final story arc where it's the Seeds of Mandalore. I think this episode did a really great job. Um, unlike with what happened with the Bad Batch story arc, it was just four episodes, boom, done. This arc is leading into what's coming next, and I really enjoy it for that. Um, the opening statement, you can change who you are, but you can't run from yourself. I really like that opening statement in this episode. Um, we get to find out that not only does Darth Maul, Darth Maul control Crimson Dawn, and if you've seen the Han Solo film, you'll know exactly who they are. So Darth, not only does Darth Maul control that crime group, but he controls all of the crime groups. He controls the entire allegiance, including the Pike Syndicate, which is really cool. I mean, they were allies in Season 5, but now in Season 7, we've learned that you know he controls all of them. Um, also, I find it funny when Trace and Rafa end up um, going to steal Spice from the Pikes in order to pay their debt to the Pikes. So basically, they're stealing Pike Spice, and they're going to basically return it to the Pikes in order to attempt to rescue Ahsoka. Um, I do have a problem with that, and I'll talk about that in my negative section. Um, Ahsoka Tano ends up getting the ability to use more of her Force abilities to plant thermal detonators, especially on the Pike Citadel, and that was pretty cool. Um, also, seeing and hearing Darth Maul again in the Clone Wars was really cool. I mean, we don't get to see him physically. He's seen and heard through a holovid, so hologram technology and all that. So we don't actually get to see him in, like, flesh, but we see his presence and, you know, what he has done. Also, we learned that Ahsoka ends up finding out that Maul is still alive and that he's still causing trouble for the Jedi and the rest of the Republic and that he's in control of Mandalore. So this, like I said, episode really sets up what's coming in the future episodes. Um, also, I love the fact that they finally did this. I was waiting for this in the past episode where finally Trace and Rafa find out from Ahsoka that Ahsoka was a Jedi and she ended up leaving the Jedi Order 
for a complicated reason. And of course, you know, if you've seen the end of season five, you know what that complicated reason is. So that was finally cool that we finally got that. I was like, I hope they do this in this episode because if they don't, it's going to bug me. Um, this episode also had a lot of amazing action and great dialogue. We also get to finally get a little bit of a ship to ship battle. It's not in outer space. It's uh, in the atmosphere. So it was still cool to see it, even though it was kind of brief. And um, at the end of this episode, Ahsoka ends up joining Bo-Katan in order to fight Darth Maul. And I'm really excited, especially with these past two episodes, I'm really excited, even more so, to see the Siege of Mandalore take place. Um, I do have a couple gripes I want to talk about. First of all, this episode is constantly doing the ping pong maneuver. I had this problem also with the third episode in this arc, so last week's episode. Um, it's constant escape, capture, escape, capture, escape, capture. I, I, I pray that the rest of this season doesn't follow suit in that fashion, and then I'm just hoping it's ping pong for only these two episodes because it's really weird it's like oh we escaped we learned some information we get captured now let's escape again get some more information let's get captured it's just kind of weird and funny at the same time also don't understand why trace and rafa um get sent to get the spice and retrieve the spice that uh you know it's been you know hidden on another planet like why did the pike guards not go with them to make sure that they were going to do it instead of just letting Trace and Rafa be on their merry way and never return if they wanted to never rescue Ahsoka. So there's that type of problem. Also, don't understand how Maul has such a great understanding of the Force and the fact that Maul can somehow in this episode sense Ahsoka when they're completely on two different planets. Like, they're nowhere near each other in the Star Wars universe doesn't work as far as I know. I might be wrong, so please let me know in the comment section. Um, I also did not like the fact that the Bosk-like Pike Spice Manager um, has the ability to make Jurassic Park Velociraptor noises. Like, seriously. If you've seen Jurassic Park and then you watch this episode, the, the audio for the Bosk-like Manager dude is... He, he constantly is screaming like a velociraptor i'm just like i get you're a lizard and all that mm -hmm. but could you guys not come up with a different type of sound for him screaming instead of oh just like oh. um and then with this episode i kind of wanted to see a better conclusion to trace and rafa like i got a gut feeling maybe we'll see them in one of the next four episodes because they're both still alive and they're both on Coruscant and it's just weird how it's like oh Ahsoka's gonna go join Bo-Katan all of a sudden and go fight Darth Maul and Rafa and Trace are just gonna chill on Coruscant. I'm like if that's how they're gonna end Rafa and Trace's story I guess that's okay but if so it's kind of a letdown because like you've spent four episodes getting attached or really hating them. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to see a better conclusion. Of just like yeah we're just going to chill here. For the rest of our lives. Uh, I just want something a little more. Past that point I guess. So that's going to do it for me guys. This has been my review for Clone Wars Season 7. Episode 8 titled Together. With that guys I'm giving it a 9.5. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And or live stream. Have a good one.